Today's topic is HIV with no symptoms. The silent infection, killing millions, here's how it spreads. The most dangerous HIV patient feels perfectly healthy. You could be HIV positive right now and feel completely fine. No fever, no pain, no rash, nothing. That's the horrifying truth about HIV. Most people who carry the virus go through their day-to-day -day life like nothing is wrong. They work, they love, they laugh, while a virus quietly eats away at their immune system. Even worse, they unknowingly pass it on. By the time symptoms show up, it's often too late. Sometimes, it's not until the person is diagnosed with full-blown AIDS or suffers a life-threatening infection. This isn't fear-mongering, this is medical fact. And today, I'm going to explain how HIV hides in your body, why so many people have it and don't know it, what subtle signs you should never ignore, and how to protect yourself before it's too late. This is Dr. Andrew D. Badley Pregat. I'm an HIV AIDS specialist, and if you care about your life or someone you love, stay with me. Because what you learn in the next 15 minutes could save years of your life. What is the asymptomatic phase of HIV after the initial exposure and after the acute symptoms if they even happen? HIV enters what we call the clinical latency stage, also known as the asymptomatic phase. This phase can last anywhere from 2 to 10 years, sometimes even longer. Here's what happens. The virus is still replicating quietly. It continues to infect CD for T cells, weakening your immune system. But you don't feel a thing. No cough, no fever, no weight loss. You might even pass your annual checkup with flying colors. But inside, your immune army is being dismantled. In fact, this is the most deceptive and dangerous part of HIV because not only is the person infected, but they are also still contagious. That's why this phase is often called the silent killer. Let me share some real stories that show you just how deadly this silence can be. Real stories when HIV is discovered too late. Case 1. Sarah, age 29. Sarah was healthy, energetic and had no symptoms. She went to donate blood for a friend. Two weeks later she got a call. We need you to come in. Her blood tested positive for HIV, dot dot no symptoms, no risk factors she was aware of. Her boyfriend had cheated three years ago and she never knew. Her CD4 count, already under three. Case 2, Jamal, age 38. He came in for fatigue and some strange pneumonia. We ran an HIV panel, he tested positive. When I asked how long he had been feeling tired, he said, maybe a couple of years, I just thought I was getting older. His immune system was in crisis and he never had a clue. These stories are not rare, they are common. Millions of people are walking around today with HIV and don't know it. Why early testing is crucial even without symptoms. Let's get this straight. HIV can live in your body for years without showing a single symptom, and the only way to know is to test. Unfortunately, many people think, I don't feel sick so I must be fine. My partner looks healthy. I haven't done anything recently, but HIV isn't like the flu. It's slow and silent. The best time to get tested. 3 to 4 weeks after a risky exposure RNA or P24 antigen test. Again at 6 weeks final confirmation at 3 months. The newest 4th generation tests can detect HIV during the window period. The time between infection and when the body produces enough antibodies to show up on a standard test. Don't wait for symptoms. By then it may already be in the AIDS defining stage. Subtle signs people think are nothing but could be HIV. HIV is often called a silent invader, not because it leaves no trace, but because the signs it gives are so easily dismissed. Let's walk through some of the most commonly ignored or misattributed symptoms that can appear even in the so-called asymptomatic phase. These early red flags often go unnoticed or worse, or waved away as routine issues. Mild fatigue that you blame on stress, overwork or lack of sleep, occasional night sweats that feel annoying but not serious, random skin rashes, Small and non itchy that seem to come and go. Recurring mouth ulcers. Those tiny painful sores inside the lips or cheeks. Slight weight loss you chalk up to poor appetite or skipped meals. Swollen lymph nodes, especially under the jaw, in the armpits, or groin, that feel tender but not painful. Here's what makes HIV so deceptive. These symptoms may disappear just as quietly as they came. You might feel better in a few days. You convince yourself there's nothing wrong. And that's exactly the trap you tell yourself. I'm just tired from work. Maybe I need to take vitamins. It's probably stress or low iron that's sore in my mouth. Just from hot tea or biting my cheek. But these are not random glitches. These are your body's warning lights. Your immune system is trying to get your attention. And every time you silence those alarms, the virus moves one step deeper. Don't wait for the symptoms to scream. Listen when they whisper. 
because early testing can mean the difference between a lifelong battle and a life well managed. How to protect yourself from silent HIV. HIV doesn't always announce its presence with obvious symptoms. In fact, many people look and feel completely healthy for months or even years while unknowingly carrying and spreading the virus. That's why protection isn't just about trust, it's about proactive choices. Here's how you can safeguard yourself even if you or your partner feel fine. Always use protection with new or multiple partners. Appearances can be deceiving, and HIV doesn't show on the outside. Get tested together before deciding to stop using protection. One test can change everything. Repeat testing every three to six months if you're sexually active, especially if you have more than one partner or are unsure of your partner's status. Understand you, you undetectable equals untransmittable people living with HIV who are on treatment and have an undetectable viral load cannot transmit the virus sexually, but this only works if the person is regularly tested and consistently medicated. Know your own body. Don't ignore unusual fatigue, recurring mouth, sores, rashes, or swollen glands. If something feels off, it's worth checking. Trust is not enough. In medicine, only testing is truth. The earlier HIV is detected, the more manageable it becomes, and the more lives are protected, including your own. The impact of delayed diagnosis. When HIV is diagnosed late, months, or even years after infection, the consequences are often far more severe and long-lasting. People who get diagnosed late typically begin treatment with a significantly weakened immune system, making it harder for medications to restore full health, are at higher risk for opportunistic infections, such as tuberculosis, pneumonia, or certain cancers, which thrive when the immune system is compromised, experience deeper emotional trauma and stigma, having to process a life-changing diagnosis they never expected, may have unknowingly passed HIV to loved ones, believing they were healthy, a heartbreaking realization that comes too late. This is a key reason HIV continues to spread silently because people who look fine don't get tested. People who feel okay don't think they're at risk, and by the time symptoms force them to act, the damage is often already done. Late diagnosis doesn't just delay treatment, it changes the trajectory of someone's entire life. The earlier you know, the more control you have, the later you find out. The more the virus has already taken. The good news, early detection changes everything. Let's not end on fear because there's hope and it's big. If you catch HIV early and start antiretroviral therapy art, you can live a normal lifespan. The virus becomes undetectable and untransmittable. You stay healthy, active, and safe. It's not a death sentence. It's not the end of your life. But you have to know. Because silence is what kills. Final message. Be the voice that saves lives. If you watched this far, you're part of the solution. You now know what most people don't. Please, share this video with someone you care about. Encourage testing in your circle. Get tested yourself, even if you feel fine. Because HIV doesn't always scream. It whispers, until the damage is done. Let's stop it before it does. This is Dr. Andrew D. Badley. Subscribe to Lifelong Vitality for real, expert-led health content that saves lives. Together we can stop the silent epidemic one conversation at a time.